so if the big authorities are seeing this video then this is my humble request that uh, uh, the education is something you know it has to be free if you can uh, if you can you know give it to the people who would be an asset to your country namaste from now guys my name is arvind and welcome back to our youtube channel so friends this video is about one of the most awaited topics and that is the update on the tuition fee for international students so based upon the research uh, that uh, our team has done i'm going to present some of the findings which we found out and i also talked to certain people within academia and uh, that is the main crux of this video as i will share with you whatever information we have but one thing keep in mind that this fees for international students that is only for the masters and bachelors not for the phd so keeping that as in background let's start it let's start this video guys let me give you a little bit of background those of you who don't know in norway the education was free for all of the international students but last year around october the government proposed that uh, they will be abolishing this free education for international students there were some you can say protests about it a lot of articles about it that this is uh, you know this is not the right thing to do and then in december um as it has been told that the budget was approved but now there is still a lack of consensus and you know there is no information available out whether there will be tuition fee for international students and if there will be a tuition fee then how much it is so a lot of people were asking me on messages on instagram few of them were emailing me so i thought okay let me give an update about this because we had a previous video which i think uh, was published last year so you can check it out over there and today we are just going to you know uh, gather all of the information so how i got to this information first of all let me tell you this uh, i am myself working in academia so i have talked to few people in the academia that what is the status and uh, they have given me some information and then i have read few articles uh, about it uh, and i also went on this website uh, of the government uh, you can say and then there they have this uh, the budget right but it doesn't say that the budget has been approved because the latest update which they have about uh, this document it is uh, from the september so now let's move on to this that uh, whether the tuition fees will be applied for all of the international students so first of all let's see what are the various universities saying on the web page now i'll get this laptop which is over here So first of all, uh, Oslomet, where I am working as an associate professor. So as you can see, that they are still saying that there is a possible tuition fees in 2023. They are not coming up with any numbers, and uh, they are saying that uh, still the decision has not been made, as you can see here, right? So we don't know, and I'll tell you a bit later why they are saying that still decision has not been. made yet right now let's move on to ntnu and ntnu all say they are saying that uh, all of the students should be you know who are from outside eu ee ae fta region they should be prepared for this uh, tuition fees and the final decision is expected soon okay then comes our uh, university of oslo the same thing they are saying you should be prepared and the final decision is expected soon and we'll update our web page as soon as we get some information and then finally university of stavanger what they did is that they uh, are saying as you can see tuition fees are planned to be introduced for the academic year more information will come in january 2023 and today i think uh, when we are making this video this is almost an end of january so my point is that even at the university level you know they are still very confused so when i talked to few people in academia so they told me that although in uh, you know because uh, a lot of different parties just like in our country like in india or any other country uh, a government is made by different parties right and in a parliament there are different uh, parties again so here also you will see that one of the parties that is sv party they are totally against this and they are saying that no this shouldn't be approved and what they are saying is that the uh, minister minister of education he has proposed this change in a budget and when the budget is approved it doesn't mean that the law is also changed right so he says that it has to be finally the law 
has to be changed and when i talk to you can say some colleagues of mine they said that they don't know yet because the government is saying or you can say the minister is very firm about it that there has to be tuition fees because of the budget issues right and when i asked uh, my colleague that okay so what uh, what can we expect what are the numbers so my colleague said they don't know anything all they know at oslomet is i can talk about oslomet that there are two things one is that they don't admit any international student right they have this option or they charge a tuition fees but then there are no frameworks right available for that because they have they, they have yet not come up with a number that what is the fee structure on the other hand the stand taken by university of stavanger again i talked to colleagues and as you can see on this uh, article over here they have come up with this number right so they are saying uh, that the tuition fee for international students will be for bachelors it will be around 80000 nok so that's approximately equal to $8000 for bachelor studies per year we are saying and then for masters program which is in social science economy science healthcare science and humanities the fees per year will be 125000 nok and uh, finally it will be most expensive for uh, students who want to study natural sciences technology and art and that would be around 150000 nok per year right and let me tell you this is besides this sustenance allowance which for the next year is 128000 nok so now if this is the amount of fees that um, will be charged by university of stavanger then i I'm, i i doubt that a lot of international students will come okay to stavanger or any other university so now my question to you what do you guys think right because if you compare this model again with uk or you can say australia or us this might still be cheaper okay uh, but still i don't know whether people would like to come to norway because of this language barrier or they were here or they were coming here just for the free education you know and we also had a lot of debates with other colleagues some of them are saying that uh, this is a good move and the move is good because you know now only high quality students will come to norway so it's uh, it's good for us uh, the quality will improve while on the other hand they are saying that if you have to pay such exorbitant amount so for a two years master degree if you want to pursue the masters in offshore technology which i did you will have to pay 30 uh, 300000 which is convert multiplying by 8 or uh, yeah so around 25 lakh around 25 lakh rupees right and besides this you have a sustenance allowance of say 10 or 15 lakhs for 2 years uh, which you generally spend so now 2 years of masters will be around how much you can say 24 and 14 that is around uh, 38 to 40 lakhs okay and this is a huge amount of uh, money so but uh, universities are also now this is something which is i i would say internal or which uh, i have come to know through other colleagues they know that a lot of international students will not come so which means that the government will not give them funding we need to understand one thing that government each master student who is being graduated from any university in norway the government is giving a certain lump sum to them right so now if less number of students are graduating from a university it means they will get less money they will get less funding since they are get, getting less funding so that is why some of the universities have emailed their colleagues that now you have to be more lean no misappropriation of the funds so there can be some job cuts at the university level as well so personally to me i don't think how this move of you know implementing fees is helping either the universities or the students government is saying uh, that it's going to help but i highly um, but i am highly certain that a lot of students will not come and at the end this is my opinion that it's going to be uh, you know not that great decision so now again uh, please what are your views let us know and uh, if you think that uh, this is a great move or it is not a great move we are still open for discussion what i see as a positive point or you can say that uh, the light at the end of the tunnel is that you know there is some sort of you can say some sort of opposition going on to this particular move because i would say that rest of the things uh, proposed by the government in the budget they have been already you know implemented for this year but this particular move that is the education 
uh, that the free education should be abolished for international students, it is still not implemented. So there is some sort of resistance. And the reason for one of the resistance would be that this ministry, uh, sorry, the minister of education, he's from another government and then the ruling government are by its party, that is the prime minister from another government. So, and then as I mentioned, SV, they are kind of uh, totally opposing it. So if suppose if this proposal is, you know, approved, then it will it will bring a lot of uh, bad imaging to the ruling government and uh, that is why i think they are bit in a lurch in order to decide whether they should approve it or not approve it and even some of the reports are saying that this final decision will be happening during say easter break that is april so we don't know yet a lot of uncertainty around it but what can we do at this moment right that is very important because there has to be a public pressure because that is also an important part of democracy that this is uh, a negative move right so a petition uh, you'll find the link uh, in the uh, description so already i think uh, 3905 people have signed and 5000 signatures uh, need to be there so that this uh, thing is picked up in the local news so please go ahead and sign it and also you know write down in your comments what are your thoughts so that uh, uh, this becomes kind of an impetus. Share this video with other people and just make, you know, you can just write down your comments and just share it so that, because I think everything will count for this final decision to be made. Because I am personally against this move because I have myself benefited from free education in Norway. And I say that I would never have come to Norway if this was not free. And I can confidently say that I am at present contributing in a very positive way uh, to the development of uh, the country, right? So if the big authorities are seeing this video, then this is my humble request that uh, uh, the education is something, you know, it has to be free if you can, uh, if you can, you know, give it to the people who would be an asset to your country. So with this uh, a bit of information and with uh, a little bit of humble request to everyone who is watching this and if you are the decision maker in this then uh, please uh, allow uh, the international students to study for free in Norway like it has always been right. So hoping for the best and as soon as we get any more updates we will come back with this uh, another video. So please do like share and uh, spread the word. Namaste from Norway.